Hello. For those of you just joining me, I am Dr. Lisa Robin, and for over 30 years I've helped people heal their broken hearts. For those of you who watched my first video, thank you for all the amazing comments on my first video, and thank you even more for watching the second one. Just so you know, I am building an online workshop that will be pre-recorded that will walk you through healing your broken heart, complete with a workbook, and a chance to connect to me. Your comments are helping me so much. I really want the course to work for you, and your comments are helping me build a better course. Let me briefly recap the first video. I have personal experience with heartbreak, as well as research as a university professor in psychology. If you did not see my first video, let me briefly touch on some of my experiences. My father died two days before my wedding several years ago. Years later, my mother, who lived with dementia, and my husband, who lived with depression, died two months apart. I lost them both twice, once to the disease and once to death. A year after my husband died, I was demoted without explanation. And in that time period, an old lover came back into my life and told me he was my soulmate, and then disappeared without a conversation. So yes, I know a little bit about heartbreak. That's why I'm designing this class. It will be available November 9th, so stay tuned. Through all my experiences and several more, I discovered so many ways to move from heartbreak to joy. As a university professor researching brokenheartedness, I have found that some of my discoveries were actually well-researched techniques that have been proven to be highly effective. So the information in these two videos, the third one I will send you and my class, have the weight of both experience and research. In the last video, I covered leaning into and honoring your pain, building a support network, or hopefully using the one you have, and doing one thing daily that you could feel good about. That could be going to the gym, it could be taking a walk, it could be riding your bike, it could be doing something creative, or just taking your vitamins. These steps have hopefully shown you that you will not drown when you cry. Open those gates to your tears and let let the tears roll out. You will not drown. Continue to cry whenever you feel like it. Let yourself indulge in sad songs and sad movies for now. However, make sure you're reaching out to your support network when you need them. Let's take a minute to delve into the neuropsychology of heartbreak. When we love someone deeply, we build a bond that our brain experiences as a physical connection. When we lose that person, the brain centers in our brain responds as if we have had a limb amputated or been horribly burned. It's very intense pain. There are actually documented cases of people dying from what is called broken heart syndrome. It's rare you're not going to die. But this explains why the pain is so intense. Intense emotion triggers the release of high levels of adrenaline, cortisol, and other chemicals associated with grief, physical pain, and other traumatic events. The symptoms of broken heart syndrome can include fatigue, chest pain, and even a shortness of breath. Again, you're not going to die. Your brain is telling you to take care of yourself. You're not being silly. You're being human. And now let me share some next steps in healing. More tools you can use right now. First, you might find that while you're being supported by your friends, somebody else needs support. Be kind to them. Be their support. You can do this and we'll help you both. We know that when we help somebody else, our spirits are lifted higher. Next, I want you to do something that may sound silly, but it'll work. I want you to name and talk to your pain. For example, is it betrayal, shame, guilt? Or perhaps it's an old wound that has no name but a color or a song or a feeling. You might name this pain old wound for the sake of this exercise. Now invite your pain to sit down with you for a cup of tea or coffee, or maybe a meal. Ask it what it wants from you, what it has to tell you. I know this seems really silly, I get it. You can just do this in your head and you can journal, maybe use your non-dominant hand, ask a question, write the answer without thinking. But there's some deep information in here, don't judge it will help for you to get to the depth of what is really hurting. Sometimes we're hurting so badly because we were told as a child we would never be loved. Maybe we've never gotten over the loss of our first pet. We have to go in and find the wound under the wound to truly heal. 
So let's recap. First, this pain is real. Two, honor the pain. Honor the time it takes to cry. Use your support network and be part of a support network for someone else. Cry as much as you need to. You will not drown. Do something each day that includes physical movement. Name your pain and talk to it. Spend some time reflecting or journaling on the conversation. There's so much more I could add, but I want to keep this short. You can go to my website, alisarobin.com, and find blogs and find podcasts and much, much more information, and eventually the class that I'm going to be offering in about a week. I want to walk you through this process at a deeper level and include the opportunity for you to ask me questions. It's difficult to walk this path alone, and often we need someone in our life who does not just tell us to buck up. This class will be the support you need. You may feel like you will never heal or that a class will not help you, but I've helped numerous people over the last 30 years and know that these techniques work. I know I can help you. You might feel like your situation is unique, and it is. It absolutely is. However, you too can find a way to heal and live with joy. So watch for my third video in a few days with some more tools you can use, as well as more information on the class. I do hope you found this video helpful. Please go to my website, alisarobin.com, and let me know your thoughts. I look forward to hearing from you.